So you have campaigns running in Microsoft ads, and quite frankly, you're just sick of setting up the UTM parameters manually in your tracking templates or in the final URL section of your ads. The good news is that Microsoft Ads allows you to use their auto tagging option, which will add the five most common UTM parameters to your campaigns, source, medium, campaign, term, and content. So today what I want to go through is where you set this up in the account and give you a little bit of advice as to which settings you should choose in which scenarios. Let's hop in. When you're in your Microsoft Ads account, the auto tagging section is actually in the admin section of the account. It's not in the shared library or bulk options or anything like that. So we need to come up here to the upper right and click on the gear icon. Then we're gonna click accounts and billing. It's then gonna load all of the account information that we have for this account. Um, most of this information you don't need to know for right now. But in this account section over here in the middle left of the screen, the thing that we're going to pay attention to is this auto tagging section right here. It currently says off. So we're going to come up here and click this pencil icon next to the account. Once that loads, scroll down a little bit. And then there's an auto tagging section here. Basically, it's just a checkbox. You just need to check the box that says add UTM tags to my destination URLs. Pretty simple. Now there are going to be two buttons down here that you can choose from. One is replace all existing tags. I wouldn't suggest you use replace all existing tags unless you know that one, all of the tags that are currently in the account are garbage or that there's none and that you basically don't need anything that's currently in the account. The only other instance is two, if you know that in the future you're never going to need to tag something manually to be different from something else to have it mapped to a different campaign or call an ad variant something different, if you're confident in those two areas, then go ahead and choose replace all existing UTM parameters. The one that I would suggest you use more often than not is going to be the second option, which is keep my existing tags and add any that are missing. What this will do is allow you to add as many UTM parameters as you want. That could be one, two, three, none of them. If you don't add any of them, Microsoft will add those five that we talked about, source, medium, campaign, content, and term. If you add a couple for whatever reason, let's say you want to call a keyword something else. You can add in manually UTM term equals whatever value you need that to be. And Microsoft will effectively look for those five variants. It will add source, medium, campaign, and content since they're missing. But if it sees the term there, it won't do anything to it and it'll leave it alone because you've manually added that yourself. So if you think that you might need to have something tagged separately in the future, I would definitely suggest using this. Or if you think that there might be some tags that are currently in the account that you need campaigns to continue being called that rather than being overwritten, I would definitely suggest using the second option. Once you're finished with that, just scroll all the way down to the bottom, click save. You'll then see that at the account section that we saw earlier, auto tagging will now say on and it will tell you which of the two options you've chosen, whether it's add UTM tags and keep existing or replace all existing tags. That way you don't have to log back in and check and see which one you've chosen or which one's set up for the account. And that's it. You're all set. Thanks for watching our video. Make sure to subscribe to the Paid Media Pros channel to see more videos.